Welcome back to Mark Reed 757. Yes, another weight loss journey. Oh, but it's going to be different. Sure, it was. No, this, this is a lot different. <laughs> and uh, you're going to learn in this video. Let's take a look. This was me six years ago. Uh, today I'm going to be talking a little bit about bariatric surgery. Now, I didn't do enough research to exactly know all the ins and outs and everything. However, this is more of a, a question. Well, now I have had gastric sleeve surgery. Yes, I've uh, made the jump, had to do it last year. I was at my highest, 485 pounds in August. So yes, it was pretty much exactly one year ago. I uh, got a call from my best friend, Renee Robbins. Can't thank you enough. She called me up. Hey, Mark, what you doing about your weight loss? Uh, well, uh, uh, you gonna get that weight loss surgery? Uh, I can't do that. If I do that, how am I gonna pay my bills? and? How am I going to be able to recuperate and everything? So, you know, in my mindset, I was thinking of the future and not really taking care of the present anyway. Well, she immediately said, what if you move in with me? You don't have to pay rent. Just work on losing this weight. Absolutely. I will do it. So I moved in. Eh, I made some changes, but not significant enough, and I still had health ailments. I had diverticulitis flare-ups. I've had COVID happen. I had, you know, bad knees or bad stomach or bad head or just one thing after another preventing me from doing the best I can. But I still went through the process of weight loss surgery because just because you want weight loss surgery it's not like they're going to give it to you right away they do this on purpose you have to jump through a bunch of hoops before you can have your weight loss surgery and i kind of didn't realize the exact way to do the process because it was my first time i mean obviously <laughs> hopefully the only time uh, but i didn't realize that you had to basically just keep in touch with your surgeon, your surgeon's office, and keep asking them, like, hey, what, what's the next step? What else do I have to do? And then do that next step and then ask what the next one is and keep doing it. So I could have had it done a lot sooner. Now, I talked to the surgeon last August, and then this August is when I finally had it done. It was uh, August 14th is when I had my surgery. Anyway, so I went from 485 from last August till July 27th. I had a visit at the doctor's and I was 441, 441 pounds. So I only lost 44 pounds in one year. Okay, you know, 44 pounds is nice, but in a year... When you're that heavy, I should have been able to do much, much better. But it was enough for the surgeon and for all the approvals so I could actually get the surgery. Because they want to know you're serious. If I'm 485 and I would have came back 515, well, then they're, they're not going to give it to me. They're like, you're not serious. You're not trying. But at least they seen that I was giving it somewhat of a try. So day of surgery, uh, the only person I had, not only person, but um, one that stepped up was my ex-wife, Melissa Reed. She stepped up and she said, yes, I'll take you. Yes, I'll stay there for the duration. And yes, I'll see you in the recovery room. So I have to thank her too. She really stepped up and helped me out. And I really appreciate it. And I had the kids see me every day. I have three kids, and at least one kid came to see me every day. And that meant a lot to me. Um, 
I'm also with my best friend Renee. She, <laughs> I'm staying with her, and I can't thank her enough. So, how'd the day go after surgery? Or, you know, right after surgery. Right after, I was completely groggy, couldn't do anything, and wanted to figure out what's the best thing to do. I'm going to cut this out. Immediately after surgery, I woke up with such pain it, and I was irate like oh what do I do and they, they gave me some pain meds finally got that under control and after that tapered off it was a lot easier to do stuff and then I kind of went back to the recovery room where or the not the recovery room but back to my room that I was going to be in and my ex-wife Melissa was there and she tried talking to me but I was just so in and out of it and uh, she went ahead and went back home which was totally fine because uh, she was able to talk to the doctor and all that good stuff and found out that everything went according to plan so now I have a stomach that's the size of a banana <laughs> That's pretty much what they make it into. And they they gave me a new diet to follow, so you could only have, uh, like, I could only have ice chips for the first day. And then the next day, I was able to start on, uh, like, clear liquids, which involved um, po uh, sugar-free popsicles, sugar-free jello, water, chicken broth, and, uh, that sort of stuff after day three you could then have like protein shakes or some uh, Greek yogurt you know I had some of that but still you got to keep up on your water keep doing water 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 well now I had one week post-op appointment which was actually about nine ten days later yeah it was about ten days after surgery but still I got had that today and I finally got through a scale because my scale at home could not weigh me unfortunately but I ended up being 410 pounds that is 31 pounds down from less than a month ago so from the July 27th where I was 441 I'm 31 pounds down from less than a month ago that's awesome in one month 31 pounds and total my weight loss from the year ago equals 75 pounds down so i'm so close to that 100 pounds down i can taste it so i'm i'm so super excited about this i'm so joyful that i've made this decision and i can't wait to just see how the progress goes and i plan on doing more exercises the doctor cleared me he said i, I can walk more I can even swim if I want to right now so I'm gonna be getting my membership back at the YMCA uh, as soon as possible and I'm gonna start incorporating that and day by day I'm gonna get stronger I still have a little bit of pain from the surgery but that's common he said that could last another three to six weeks which is completely fine because I'm changing my life this is extraordinary and like I said, I got a lot of people to thank, but the two I mainly want to thank is Renee Robbins and Melissa Reed. Thank you.